Thank you for joining us for this episode of CNTV. I'm Brad Klon. And I'm Quinn Tran. One of the latest Chickasaw Press books tells the Chickasaw migration story. The story is told through colorful illustrations by a young Chickasaw citizen. We connect with Lauren John to talk about her art, the book, and the importance of the migration story. It's such an important story to our tribe that I really wanted to do it justice when I was told uh, that they'd like me to illustrate that story. So the migration story tells the story about the two brothers, Chiksa and Chata, and how they first started out as one tribe and eventually uh, split into the tribes that we have now, Chickasaw and Choctaw, after having a disagreement about the leaning pole that Ababa Neely had sent down to us. The migration story is more than just a story. It's culture, it's heritage, it's, it's part of identity. Yeah, yeah, it really is because it's it's such an important story for us that we still reference certain things that come from it. Like the uh, Opitobi. Opitobi is a very important cultural figure to our tribe. And Opitobi originated from this story and his contributions to helping our tribe make our way to our new homeland. Opitobi is the the big white dog that was sent by Baba Neely to help guide the brothers and the tribe to the new homeland. It also uh, was able to heal people by licking their wounds. It was overall just a big spiritual guide that was meant to help us on our journey. I used pretty simplistic illustrations for this story because when I was first uh, drawing them, I was told to do it inside a uh, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. Doing details in Adobe Illustrator is actually kind of difficult. So um, simplifying certain details really helped me and the process move along. But I actually really like how the style came out for the uh, book. One of my favorite parts of this book is that it's both in Chickasaw and in English. Oh, yes, it's so cool. Whenever I was told how they were going to approach printing out this story, I was really excited because I was thinking about exactly how it would look whenever it was actually printed and getting to see the process as it went uh, along. It was so cool because uh, I was just told, oh, it's going to be in both Chickasaw and English. And I was thinking it was going to have like the Chickasaw lines in one row and then English below. But then they were like, no, you're going to flip it over. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Lauren, you're connecting with us from Georgia. You are a college student at SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. It's an excellent college for talented, artistic, creative students. Oh, yeah. I love it here at SCAD. Uh, I'm, in, I'm actually in my senior year right now. I've, I've met so many wonderful people, seen so many talented individuals that it really helps me try and push for more quality in my art, trying to be better and improve. I've loved it here this entire time I've been here. So I am an animation major with a concentration in story and concept, meaning that I do the pre-production phase of animation. So thinking of storyboards, concept art, uh, all that jazz, everything in that wheelhouse. That's what I'm really interested in doing. Uh, I really want to go out into the industry and get a storyboarding uh, job. I have a couple places in mind, but we're going to have to see how that works out whenever I apply for my internships this summer. <laughs> the Chickasaw Nation does so much for the arts. Mm -hmm. uh, we remember you taking part in Teyada having um, a part in Teyada, the movie, and then also participating in the Chickasaw Arts Academy in the summer. I've been going there since I was, I think, about eight years old. So it's been a major part of my life and contributing to my artistic journey. I would go in, I'd learn new art skills, and I'd be able to practice and solely focus on art. And then I'd be able to apply that to any art that I would produce outside of the Arts Academy. So it was something that always I always really appreciated our tribe doing because it gave me the opportunity to learn about more art forms and mediums that I could participate in that wasn't just regular traditional graphite drawings or dance, theater, it really expanded my horizons. It's been so much fun and a joy to watch you grow up involved in so many things, including the Chickasaw princess pageants and, and serving as a Chickasaw princess, one of the Chickasaw princesses. What, what are your words of advice to, to young people 
about pursuing their interests and in higher education? I would just say, if you're really passionate about it, go for it because it's it's really rewarding personally to be able to do something that you love. You you can just keep working for it because not everyone that uh, you look up to started out in that position. They worked for it as well. So it's really just a matter of practice, hard work, and keeping up at it. Keep at it. Keep pursuing your passions. Next time on CNTV, we'll take a look at another beautifully illustrated book from the Chickasaw Press. The book is for young readers that guide them on an adventure to learn about good nutrition, character, and culture. The Chickasaw Cultural Center hosted another wonderful Three Sisters celebration held during spring break last month. Here in the traditional village, we have all kinds of food tastings of our uh, traditional foods like pashofa and the Three Sisters Stew. We have other things going on too with our horticulture team that shows you examples of how to plant the corn, beans, and squash and how it sustained us throughout the centuries. If I'm correct, it's the squash that covers the roots, the beans climb up the corn, and the corn pre creates a stalk for the beans to climb up. Children enjoyed learning about planting and growing the crops. There were also traditional games and activities. The Chickasaw Cultural Center has special events throughout the year. Go to ChickasawCulturalCenter.com to plan your visit. The spring season also brings events that unite Chickasaw citizens. Chickasha Itafama Chickasaw Reunion is set for May 3rd and 4th in Colahoma. The two-day reunion includes family-friendly cultural activities, traditional meals, and fellowship. For more information on the Chickasaw Reunion and directions to the Colahoma grounds, call Cultural Resources at the number on your screen. The Chickasaw Senior Golf Academy is gearing up to help older golfers. Chickasaw citizens age 50 and up may apply to participate in the Senior Golf Academy. Professional instructors at Windstar Golf will help participants with their technique, swing, short game, and putting. There are three Golf Academy sessions set up next month. Go to this web address for more details. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of CNTV. Join us again soon. We'll see you next time.